Hello everyone, we're back with some more Board Game Arena gameplay. Hello everyone that is already here. Hello Mike, hello Maru. Finally in Elite for Arc. I think we'll start with an Arc today. Uh, definitely playing a T terraforming Mars later. Haven't really decided on much else. Definitely play some world. I figure we'd better start with one before you ask. <laughs> yeah, we are set to only find elite opponents now. I think we'll put Seven Wonders Jewel. It's been a while since we played that on the stream. Uh, I wouldn't mind playing some Veil either. JD can do whatever he wants. Pretty risky for him though. I'm I'm quite low ranked. Like I only just hit uh, Elite today. There's usually two, but the other one will be towards the end of the stream. Squidward. HHH. Okay. We're first player. No really easy project considering like starting with a partner too, there's no like easy two continent projects. What's our end goals? Naturals and sponsored. We're definitely keeping talented. We can get a we can get a round one second worker that way. Expert on Asia is just generally good. I'm not happy with any of these animals. Jugong's just mildly okay, like, I think we just keep diversity in project as well. Diversity has a lot of upside because we're already going to upgrade sponsors. We can abuse the gate a bit more. Also works really well with naturalist. Hmm, maybe we're looking at snapping up the Koti, but we can just start with a size 2 because we don't particularly... Uh, care which continent we get. Yeah, I think Koti is snappable here just for something to play and it's a predator. So we, we probably just start with America and Asia if possible. Uh, always suspicious starting with a two rep uni. I'm hoping it's not archaeologist. It'd be pretty annoying if it was. Okay, it seems like it's not archaeologist because they're building first. Maybe just petting zoom. We're going to see a horse. Oh, okay, down there. Bard Owl Hut, okay, fair enough. Still expect it means we're going to see a horse. Ok, 
that our partners are an upgrade sponsor. Even though it is better to play Expert on Asia first, we'll just get Asia anyway. Yeah, I'm fine with terraforming after this. Break 5 is fine to see, because uh, I don't have to take cards anytime soon. I mean, I do want the Cody, but... Can probably X back animals, get uni, then snap the Cody. Not like I want to play two animals. Tortoise, okay. It's a good card, you're gonna have to discard a couple though. Hey David. I've played Veil the last couple of weeks on stream, but yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I think I'm on a bit of a winning streak at the moment, which is nice. Uh, can't afford two. Okay, goat plus horse. Yeah, that's, that's the reason why you start with the two rep uni. Not really anything to upgrade that's going to be scary for round one, like builders, who cares. <laughs> let's get hand size uni, and then let's... Hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping they take a two build action. That would be cool. I guess we could even play Expert on Asia for some income. Ah, uh, we just caused the break. Actually, do we? Maybe instead of snapping the Cody, we just draw. Maybe, maybe they just cause in the break. Okay, that's fine. It's getting into range now, so... Badger also interesting. They're not really close to the... I'm just going to draw from the deck. I think we have enough stuff to hit here. Yeah, okay. Oh, they're they're all very nice. Oh, oh my god. Rewarded there. Oh yeah, I forgot about... I actually don't know what to get rid of here. I guess just the lizard. Pretty good though. I think we lead with Expert on Asia before the Tarsier comes out. We don't have enough rep for Penguin Pool. But now we're also looking at Badger Stork combo to release Stork. Yeah, definitely a really nice draw though. Next couple of moves are going to be spend an X token to get the second uni, upgrade build, cover the rep, upgrade animals. Get the Koti from range, play both. Won't be able to afford both. See what partner zoo? Africa partner zoo. Most likely is pilfering, but it could also be just caracal or uh, eleven money.
Yeah, so I think we're looking at kiosk size 2, grab the Cody. Pavilion 1. We're both kind of TFM addicts, actually. Been... Oh my god. The mic is all the way up here. You guys probably can't hear me very well. Yeah, I've been playing quite a bit of TFM. Getting getting close to that top 100. So animals upgrade plus Tarsier is not is another worker, but we really don't need it at this stage. Nice birds. <laughs> That's such a sus move. Yeah, it just caused the break. That's fine. It actually puts Badger in range. We probably just play Badger Tarsia. Um, no, we just play Badger Koti and get two Predators. Simple. We leave the bird for them. I think they might have done that to put the Hornbill in range, actually, but they can have it. We can play Penguin Pool next move. That lets us draw the white stalk from range if we put it up here. That will also let us just draw cards normally, but we want to spend an X to get two predators first so we can upgrade cards. Yeah, yeah that was the idea for Badger. That's, that's why we want Badger, Predator, and the Europe for stalk. They might be eyeing it. I don't, I don't really know what they're eyeing here. It's gonna be... Europe. Oh, they're eyeing the stalk, but that's my stalk. Are they gonna take Asia for the Hornbill? No. Sheep also kind of important to deny. We don't want to give them an easy third petting zoo. So we could just take snapping and snap up the sheep. But five money also looks very tempting here. So does size two, actually. Mm. I think we just snap away the... If we snap away the Hornbill, the sheep comes into range, but maybe we're okay with that. The Forbidden Fruit must be... Oh, ominous. I don't know. Actually, no. I'll give them the sheep. They'll probably get three at some stage anyway, but Hornbill's just very good for both of us, for the birds, and then extra good for me because of Penguin Pool and Asia, so... They can have the sheep. I already have a size 2 for it as well. Meerkat den looking very nice. Muskox. Ooh. Ooh, they get Meerkat den and a Carpy. 
and surely it's sheep here. Yeah. Yeah, we have we have the worker. They can't really do much. We also have enough money to play Tarsier when diversity researcher comes down. We'll just snap away the eagle. Vet looking very juicy as well. Maybe we just play Vet. Mika Den makes sense. They might even take Vet here. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Puts deer into range for them. They're getting all the herbies. I think we just X out build here. Plan to play Tarsia. Tarsia. Cause the break the move after that. Oh, sorry, we know we have to diversity researcher first. Yeah, they, they have a lot of cards. Don't know that they want to hold the deer with everything else they have. I mean, they're ahead in points and income. The advantage that we have is... I'm not getting the partner suit here. What's the advantage we have? We have a lot of birds and penguin pool. We have a good stalk release project. But they're on the way to five uh, herbivores. Xing back cards as well. Actually makes a hell of a lot more sense to just do birds two here, I think. Just get five income. Actually forgot that we could afford the hornbill. Makes a lot more sense. Could even place this anywhere, but we do want to surround the kiosk. If we take size 2, we could just straight up uh, X back build, actually. I like that. Oh, yeah, we do. Uh, yeah, that's what I missed. Alright, in that case, we just play... Tarsia. Yeah. Not that we can support a project right now, we don't want to release the badger. But we can still do a cards action. Snapping up herbivore breeding, okay. And we're pretty happy doing a full cards action. We do want to keep four cards, so we just... We want it out of the way, though. That's the main thing. We do want to build again. And we do want to take away the deer and discard it. 
Wolf is nice. Get rid of petting zoo, but also discard. Probably red deer. Don't think we're going to hit four or five this game. It's interesting with the bison, but wolf already gives us good value. With these pack guys. I think we take away the herbivore though. Nothing else is really scary. I guess Hypnosis is the scariest, but they're ahead by a long way in appeal. Don't like seeing the Tapir show up now. So while we don't have a project to do, I think now just makes sense to get third uni. Then I think we take a full build action, plan on playing Stork releasing, or plan on playing Wolf and releasing possibly. Releasing wolf makes sense, so we can keep the bird for doing birds for. They could do birds too, but I expect they'll do herbivore breeding first. Sunbather also looks nice. We can sell the bison. Just main concern is putting the tapir in range if we do that. But I'm hoping they play herbivore breeding. Take something from range. That puts the tapir at uh, 10 and then we can draw it. Anyway, we have no intention of filling map. So we can just find some other nice uh, kiosk spots. We should still be able to afford one, two. Can afford stalk. Could just break uh, five here as well, then we can afford whatever we want.
They have such a huge income lead. Breaking's not what we want right now. Don't think we have time for expert on ours. Oh yeah, I forgot her copy has to come out. Plus that, okay. Goes up here in the corner, yeah, they get to appear. Gives us time to just break five. I think we just need the money, like we already have our next two enclosures, we can just double X back build here if they don't cause the break. We can take size 2's after. Uh, but we always take cards. Okay, glad we kept that away. Mm. That's also pretty safe keep. Really don't feel like leaving the times two. They can't break on us, but we don't really have a good use for it. Maybe we just YOLO it on cards and just hope to draw something. I really don't want to leave them times two. Like, we really have two things that we want to keep. Maybe ostrich is third. We're fine drawing other things. They got third partner zoo. I think they want to fully build, so I feel like... Double X here. At the same time, it might be worthwhile building a size 1 for the reindeer so we can do herbivore breeding. They get 2 rep instead of 3rd partner zoo. No. We'll find some sort of project, but I like double X here. If they spend an X to cause the break on our double cars, it's fine. We couldn't hold them all anyway. So I'm happy they caused the break there. We get snap and then draw. Cool. 
Koala's fairly unplayable, but has a lot of upside. Like, I th Ostrich is still fine, though. Hmm. Round Bear looks nice. Also, don't mind uh, Federal Grants here. Maybe Victory Column as well, playing in the same turn. Expert Enlarge coming down to us would be very nice. Okay, Komodo is pretty interesting. Don't like seeing that. What the hell is that for? Means they have their big animals ready. Expert in large saves us a lot of money. I mean, the question is what's our project? Play the deer just for breeding program. Don't love it. I think it's always Hornbill coming down. Just build the pavilions out of the way somewhere. Wolf can wait. I think we just do this for the breeding program. We get size 2 rewards. Still look to do birds. We, we actually do need build. We'll leave it there. Get size 2 rewards. Look to build a size 3. Maybe two size 3s. A, uh, aviary eagle now. Okay, they're going to take birds fall from us, that's unfortunate. We still have good cards up our sleeves. They won't be able to end for a little while. I mean, now we still do herbivore breeding and we have birds too as a backup because we'll need projects for the brown bear. <laughs> they do forget vet, but I don't think spending the X is going to matter too much. They take five money over partner zoo. Okay. I mean, they are getting close. They should not be able to end it this round. They can't cause the break either. Means we have time to do expert enlarge. It's going to save us a lot of money. Well, I say a lot. I hope we have enough time to do all this. Okay, the zebra there suggests they have African elephant. 
elephant plus zebra into five herbivores gets very close to ending. Still maxed out naturals, but we're going to have to lose a CP from it. They do break, so I mean, what do our animals actually want to be? Uh, ostrich doesn't really matter, except we might build a... No, ostrich doesn't matter. Doesn't look great, does it? They surely don't need breeding cops, so it's just a dead card. Everything here is pretty much dead. I think we just build Aviary in. Aviary no longer makes sense. Gorilla Field would be nice right about now. Yeah, I know there's this spot over here. My plan is to uh, go over near the Clever. Don't know why they need to build. But I mean, I'll take more time for this game. I also don't think the bear does anything for us. Greeting to get last uni. Yeah, if they have African elephant, they're getting an X here. but it doesn't look likely that they're filling map. Yeah, we're saving our eagle as long as possible. I think we just do like... Ah, I really shouldn't have built around here. Something like Wolf Komodo. I think those are our two best scorers. Just if there's... Could still cause another break. And I think it's just wiser to get the X token.
looking at next move, like victory column, gorilla field research, they take breeding co-op. Here's the elephant. Okay, instead of doing a source, it's just straight up better to build. Build three is just better. We get another enclosure for the fox or something. We can play Gorilla Field Research. They have Zebra. Unless they're saying they have Sun Bear as well, which is a very real possibility. Panda's really good. Can't afford it. Can't cause break. Now we can cause break. We can build a size two for it, but it, we lose we lose a CP from naturals, which is still okay. Now break nine looks very appealing. Uh, if, if this is sun bear, though, the game just ends. Of course, classic. Even missing the fact that they have enough for third uni. They'll probably realize when it says they have three left. No, they don't. Hmm. Plus nine, plus three, uh, plus eighteen. Eagle is still better, but we should. Uh, it doesn't matter. There's literally nothing to hunt. They played the other eagle. Oh, awesome.
Didn't hate my start at all. Got great second draw, but... Just like literally everything relevant for both the projects. Mirka then showed up when they played Muskox. Just triple petting zoo into income lead. I don't know, still within 14. Not really happy at the moment. You want to play with Prelude on or off? On is friendly. Off is for reals. Alright, on. Prelude's in alpha at the moment, but yeah. I noticed a, a couple of little bugs, but it seems to be working all right. Uh, I don't know what Robinson Industries does at all. Spend four to increase one of your... That's interesting. That's very interesting indeed. Uh, restricted area is an easy keep. Towing a comet also pretty nice. I am tempted by space elevator is so expensive to get running. Uh, I guess let's see what we actually have here. Minus one. Polar Industries looks okay. Supply Drop actually gets us off to a decent start. So I'm thinking, like, Space Elo... I don't even mind keeping... I guess Industrial Center just does this just slightly worse, but I like the tile that it places, though. Just has to be next to a city, but if he places a city, we just block it. Yeah, I like Supply Drop for getting Elevator up early. I think and this is any tag yeah well, I mean I plan on using this every round I think which makes the heat production from this worth a bit as well I'm gonna go with this I think I'm okay not keeping bushes. We're not keeping a lot, but we have restricted area. Two cards, ocean seems pretty fair to start. Uh, I'll adjust the, like where everything goes in a sec. Yeah, everything's got to be pretty small to fit, that's the problem, because I'm not playing full screen. So, I guess we just start with a restricted area. Don't see a reason not to. Just need to keep in mind we need enough money. Don't mind starting next to the ocean on one steel, but also... Seems fine. It's like the same as getting two steel, I guess. But I'd rather be over here. 
and let's uh, use it straight away. We'll, we'll be playing quicker than this. Okay, more card draw. Very happy. <coughs> like starting with a lot of card draw. But let's make sure we get space out, space elevator out first. Starts with natural preserve over there. Oh, what is he? He's credit core, of course. He starts with a lot of income and card draw. Um, we do want to make sure that we use not all the steel. Something like that. Don't spend your plants. All right. Immigration shuttles. Look at that income. We could, instead of the card draw, I think we just tow a comet for the two extra income and then use four on getting steel production up. I like that. It is perfect money. But I, I like getting the two extra income here. Maybe it's still a flawed way of thinking, but I got to compete with like all this income right now. Getting the seven plants is kind of icky though. Maybe we're not first player. Dude, there's no way he's going to comet us. Seven is a really bad amount to have, I'm aware. I think that's all we're doing. Alloy is really interesting for us. Mining expedition very annoying for us. I think Alloys has a lot of potential uh, late game use though. Strip mine could also be good, but just take Comet here. I'm debating whether to play a for sale today. <laughs> debating. We just have to make sure the plants survive one round. We can boost our plant income this round. Okay, our, our income's actually not that bad because we got plus five from Space Elevator, basically. We can save Comet for next... Oh, I, no, oh, sorry. We can... We can't Comet this round. We're, we're too broke so far. We can Comet next round, place an ocean, and then... Get a plant from that. Oh, actually, maybe we can. I think I'm fine giving him asteroid mining. It is a Jovian tag, and we do have extra. I think it's too expensive right now, and I don't want to lose my plants. Excuse. I think you're forgetting the second place last week. I, I don't. I don't like the idea of SP Ocean. Didn't take strip mine. So we can comet if we sell a steel. I don't mind this. I mean, the main thing is, is he going to comet us this round? But if we sell the steel, we can comet. Or is he going to destroy our plants? Do we skip second action? Sure. Just this once. We'll save our titanium because it has more value with advanced alloys. We'll just spend straight up. 
actually spending... Yeah, we'll save the titanium. We get two money when we place a greenery here. He passes, okay. And two money allows us to draw the card. We want to place the ocean here, I think, and then place the greenery right next to it. And that lets us have enough money to draw. Okay, Jovian Multiplier is interesting now. That's all we can... I forgot about our, our special ability here. It's not worth selling three cards for it though. Okay, Media Group looks really nice. Don't have any events in hand, but we got we got card draw. It'll it'll pay off. Uh, it's also space hotels here. It's very good for him. Plus four production. That's actually tricky. He doesn't get any discount on it. It feels really bad to pass, but I think Media Group's just going to be a lot better for us. Jovian Tag, interesting again, but... I mean, we'll probably get this back, maybe we just... Well, we probably get this back. The steel production's nice. Don't know that we keep Noctis. Probably worth keeping the tag. We already have one multiplier. I'm not used to playing like a Jovian multiplier strat. I guess with Prelude it's much worse because the game ends just a lot quicker. Maybe I shouldn't bother. Just get these cards out that we already have. It's really expensive for a steel production, so we're paying for the point. But steel is better value than normal for us because of advanced alloys. Draw first. Okay. Very good. Really good. Get more card draw out. He's got a lot more card draw. And he chose not to keep the card from Business Network, that's good at least. Shuttles seems like it's going to be quite good. Worth speculating on at least. No point playing Alloys this turn, we just bump up plant production, I guess. Okay, he does four heat bumps, lava flows, and nuke zone. Pretty good card draws. I'm very tempted to sell two just to get the steel production.
think industrial center's pretty dead. Also not a fan of predators, which would just be like two easy sells. Not sure if methane ever gets played, but... There's the space hotels. Robo workforce is enough to get quantum extractor up. Can we copy anything? We can copy that. It's not great, but... Physical Complex is the other interesting one. I think Robo Workforce is just better. There's already actually four oceans out, so Great Dam could be useful. You can copy the prelude. Oh, that's interesting. So we can copy two heat. Huh. Nuclear power will pass. Physics complex. Don't think we'll keep, but it has more upside. I don't think we need the power with quantum extractor coming in. We'll just keep Robo. The space event was definitely the second, first or second pick, but I like the science tag here to unlock Quantum Extractor. I also don't like passing in something that can copy like 4 MC production. Ah, oh, sorry, can't copy that at all. Can copy 1. I, no, I can copy... okay. Oh, it can copy this prelude because it has a building tag. Okay. Yeah, it can't copy either of these four MCs. Okay, so maybe it's not that good for him. Uh, undo, let's, uh, let's play properly and draw first. Decomposes we keep. We don't really have the hand for it, but... Yeah, I might be looking a bit too short-sighted to get Quantum Extractor up. Also benefits from Media Group. Well, Qu Quantum Extractor is not happening this round. Uh, we might... Can't methane this round. I'm definitely more of a terraform myself. But it seems like this game is telling me to go engine with the double card draw. I also gotta remember my um, special ability. Methane's not playable yet. That's fine. We want to do Robo Workforce and then... Yeah, we still want to do Robo this round, I think. Robo plus Advanced MC. Oh, we can just straight up copy Space Elevator, actually. That's so much better. Just uh, missed that. Thank you. 
we do MC because we're getting um, power production next round, then we can boost up plants. But what we're doing does feel extremely slow. There is the space event. Does get him to eight plants. Oh, can't do anything about it. I only got four cards. He does have card draw though. Magnetic Field Dome, not bad at all, but I think it's going to come back. We just take Lycan, better than Adapted, just by two money. Hey, STD. Okay, Toll Station is useless. I, we really don't want our steel taken, but Vest is good, well... Maybe good is not the right word, but I think if we're going to win, we just need the Jovian tags. I think that's sort of our play to win, just mass Jovian. I don't, I don't, mm, I don't mind it. Yeah, for, well, for our one multiplier so far, but yeah. Uh, we'll draw first. Yep, birds not really going to do too much for us. Mangrove's okay, but I actually need to count. We just want a really quantum plus. Quantum plus Vesta is possible this round. Plus our ability, I don't think we can afford. Getting all the plan prod. Yeah, we want to delay bumping heat as long as possible. Yeah, milestone's interesting. I mean, we could go for Planner. He's pretty much got... He has dibs on Terraformer and Gardener. So we could potentially get Planner. Mare seems very unlikely. We're also playing a lot of cards. Okay, Shuttles is now playable before Vestal. It's cool. Uh, we can Magnetic Field Dome, but maybe we should boost plant production first.
Yeah, we just sort of have to drag this match out as long as we can. Energy tapping, we don't care. Standard projects is amazing for him because he's critical. It'll help him end the game really quickly. Hackers, I don't think we care at all. If he wants to hack us, it's fine. We definitely don't want to play this, though. We don't want to be boosting oxygen. You can energy tap if he wants. Probably keep standard tech. Get some SP cities out, maybe go for mayor. Like we could definitely we could definitely go for mayor, like play Ganymed plus uh two SP cities. This is this is literally free to play at the moment. He does SP City, okay. Yeah, I mean City here looks nice to we can't really stop his ocean walk. But City here looks good and then we can greenery ourselves. So I feel like we'll draw first. Pretty useless. It's getting closer. It's like two points for 19 money. The plant prod doesn't do that much for us. Helps decompose us a little bit. We are first player next round, so we could also SP Greenery to get the temp bump, but feels like I'm helping him a lot. Uh, we might also just play Fuel Generators. Because it means I can use the ability to bump up steel production. <laughs> All the oceans are gone. Okay, he claims Gardener. So I think Mare is our play. He's yeah, very close to Terraformer. Uh, Mare is only one. I mean, there's no real rush. We know Noctis City is dead, so we don't care. Also looking at SP City here, like first move next round, looks like a decent spot. We can Ganymed for free. Yeah, 
Yeah, we do want to fuel generators for one. And that lets us boost up the steel. After that doesn't matter. Yeah, so that's the thing. We are we do want to secure the next oxygen. We are first player next round. They said they fixed this card up. Place on a volcanic area. When I tried to play it a couple of days ago, it was bugged out. But I think if it does work, it's the best card here. Is this the only volcanic area left? It's still a f okay spot. And it's our third city. And it's basically free with all our steel production. Uh, this is also like free for us. Plantation is only slightly better value, but it's good value for him. Um, well, we can just play this instead of SP Greenery. Doesn't save us a whole lot. Oh, one up there, okay. This is unplayable, so let's take the playable one. Something like one, two. Okay, so I uh, like opening up with Plantation. Gets us the extra heat bump. We can also Lava. For four steel. Yeah, okay, that spot's good. And it does work. All right, now we can fund Mayor. We can also methane. Uh, it's a good amount of plants for next round. We should draw cards first. Also, I should have spent all the steel because we were getting one back. Uh, research outpost, lovely. Uh, yeah, uh, now I actually should get Mare, because he could snipe Mare from me. Kelp farming, though. All our money's gone for this round. Luna Beam's pretty useless at this stage. He's already funded Landlord. So, I mean, we could just S spam SP City. 
could also funding miners should be pretty safe. I'm not sure that we want to spend four to increase one power. I think our time of upgrading that is done. He still has so much money. I mean, it still looks kind of close. That's with that's with him funding Landlord already. But he still does have Terraforming again. And just SP sitting everywhere. Okay, that's exactly what we need. More of this. It's not enough yet, but if we find a couple more. Breathing filters coming back would also be kind of nice. Also wouldn't mind just dumping an SP city right here. I think that's what we want to do first move. It's kind of late for Olympus, but... Could also enable us to fund scientists. We don't have a lot of money, we have a lot of titanium and steel. Trees is getting close to playable, might just take that away though. It's also just one point. I think we'll be able to use the power production on something better than fuel factory. I mean, does, does SP City actually do enough here to make it worth it? Cause I, fighting for landlords, pretty stupid idea, I think. It does give us enough to convert, though. Gives us one plant there. Banker we didn't want to see. Still think even having said that we just SP City. Yeah. We can get two steel up here. Io is still playable. Should draw first though.
wonder if there's any way I could take Banker from him. Sadly, too late for that. Sadly, also too late for that. Yeah, what we want now is just Jovian tags or big space events. Okay. No point playing any of these yet. We're not going to win Banger if we pass Cartel. Ooh, Commercial's actually got a really sick spot though. We just give up on Banker and play Commercial District in between all three. It's like a three point card, but it's free basically because it costs steel. It gives us some more hope for Banker, even though he's going to take Cartel. It gives us a free point here as well, basically. Virus actually not the worst with media group and decomposers. Yeah, if we were closer in landlord, I'd consider mining area. Pretty sure we just start with commercial district in the middle of everything. It's actually not clear it can fund any of these, so I can sort of wait till the last round, I think. Dude, how is he finding all the big space events? Could also just remove a pet from animals, uh, two pets from animals. I think removing plants is probably better. Oh yeah, pets can't be removed. I keep forgetting about that. Wave power is one point for eight.
Nova City. Uh, we should have we should have uh, drawn first. This might help us find a good space event though. This is free. Wow. All right, corporate corporate stronghold looks okay. GHG. All right, it doesn't matter. This could just be a free point with the steel. We don't have that much steel. Is this actually going to be worth it to place anywhere? Hey, Canizio. Not looking great this uh, first two games. I don't know if they're approved or not, but they were too tempting to pass up. Okay, Asteroid's interesting. It's very late for Earth Catapult. Asteroid's kind of free for us. We get four titanium back, we just raise temp two. It's very late for Earth Count. Yeah, this is with preludes. <laughs> He's happy that he got the Earth Catapult. Uh, this is actually points. We don't care about the power. Just one, two, I think. I mean, I don't really see a path to victory. I think preludes... Preludes were definitely this week at some point. So they haven't been around for that long. You're going to SP City right in this little corner here. Now open, yeah, okay, open city did pass that. <laughs> I, I do like it with the preludes. They'll speed up the game. Not, not sure I'm a fan of this corp. It was okay. I think it's also me just partly not knowing how to play like an engine properly. Hmm. 
Hmm. Banker, you say? Not playable. I don't know. Is Banker still out of reach with a 15 deficit? Does it even matter? Hey Bob. Yeah, I'm I'm missing something like a physics complex which I got rid of earlier. Uh, of course, placing a city gives him money as well. I also spent all my steel. Not sure about Bunny Kingdom. I was kind of shocked by the tournament. The tournament just started, but only eight people. It's like, never had it that uh, that few people sign up before. Kind of crazy. Um, I do think this is just to concede. Like, I don't mind playing it out, but I'm also mindful not to waste people's time. We got farming. And I, the game should end this gen, so... Asteroids just literally free for one point. Well, it costs three, but we get three back from media group, so it is literally free. Yeah, we're too far away from land. I don't know, this banker just keeps calling to me. <laughs> it's getting so close. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I, we can definitely fund Miner here. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I think we just fund Scientist is the safest, because then, then it doesn't matter if I spend everything. Uh, I should have converted plants first. Yeah, Scientist seems the safest. I don't know, this is like plus eight. We actually tie with him. I, I would love both, but he's already funded Landlord and our banker. Yeah, we really need like miracle card draws from these two. Something like Jovian Multiplier plus Massive Income. Yeah, that's the thing. You can just SP City and get plus two every time. I think we just asteroid first anyway to get rid of the plants. Yeah, terraforming Ganymed, that would be very nice.
very unlikely. Um, there's still 66 cards in the draw pile somehow. Uh, I mean, it'll it'll be played at this stage. There's a spot here, okay. We're actually getting close again to Banker. Security Fleet is another income for satellites, actually. I think the game plan is just take Banker away. Yeah, uh, he, he should be SPing Asteroids. Pretty sure we do just pay two. Yeah, Fleet wouldn't actually be the worst earlier. Uh, uh, the other question is, can we afford all this? And the answer is probably no. So he can end if he sells all cards, which I'll, I'll make, I'll make him do that. Okay, that gets our power off for capital. Oh, yes, yeah, investment. Ooh, minus. You're playing a dangerous game. That banker is mine. Yeah, I I'm definitely looking at capital here. Do this this satellite. Now we're tied. Now we play our uh, farming. It's it's not enough, but I mean it's closer. Um, out of all the things left, wave power is one point. Oh, I should have just played wave power instead of spending four. Oh, I don't think it matters. Oh, you... <laughs> that's, that's a cute last move. <laughs> That's all we got. I'm not even going to bother selling. Outbanked by insulation. Insulation. Well done. It's a lot of cities this game. It's a hell of a lot of cities. 
Alright, I took some more time, but I had a lot more actions to do. GG. Alright, we're starting off today pretty well. But we are we don't lose three in a row. I think we'll go for world. Also, this is why you got chat restricted in the first place. Should definitely report this. Mr. Chat Restricted. Oh, it's not easy. Can't believe you just took Banker from me. No, I was like, I was just a couple of turns too slow with the awards. And it's true, I don't pay enough attention to the milestones. Dude, I can't believe you just kept in insulation for fun. Yeah, I didn't pay enough attention to the milestones. Just kind of expect to get one or two of them, but I don't actually focus on getting one or two of them, so I could have easily lost all three. Hmm. Well, there's two whites, so we don't need to take that. There's also two nuclear plants, so we don't need to take that either. So I think Airborne Lab is just the thing that connects it all together. It's the only green here for nuclear plants, the only black card here for nuclear plant. Atlantis. Not. I'm not a fan of starting Atlantis over recycling plant at all. I think that'll cost them a little bit, because I get recycling plant and nuclear plant built now. I just have to, like, mirror what they take. So I have to take a white. From this hand, we take nuclear plant and treasure, ideally. From the other hand, we take a green. So I've got to take this green now, and we get a white back. we got to take nuclear plant now. It'd be too greedy to take treasure. I think it's likely they do take treasure, but then we get climate control, which is not the worst either. And we get a white. This is a, this is a very good start for us. Yeah, they do get treasure, it's fine. We got two green to put on this. Not interested in parallel dimension at all. Yeah, because they have Atlantis, the main thing is we want to deny them getting generals. So as long as we like tie them in black production, keep beating them in green, start beating them in uh, blue production, we're fine. Yeah, in their position, I'm starting recycling plan over Atlantis every day of the week. Honestly, we could take financiers. Normally, with this build, you go generals, but we're getting like these financiers for free, basically. Plus when climate control's done, we get a... I guess yellow we're not always going to win because of treasure. But with that much white production, we could easily transition to yellow from here. 
we just we want to keep producing blue to take away generals from them. Ah, oh, it's quite annoying. Two really good cards here. Really do want both. Lunar base is especially scary, giving him two generals. It might just be the take. I'm worried that there's no blue cards in the other hand. Also giving him another general multiplier is scary, but lunar base is scarier. Okay, they actually leave Super Sonar, which I think is a pretty big mistake. This is just going to allow us to win blue production long term. Sources Quadrant also very good. I expect they take that. Yeah, they do take City. We could take another nuclear plant. Could also just take Magnetic Train. I think we go Zeppelin, hopefully Zeppelin from the other hand. Okay, yeah, they're focused on their recycling plant. Unfortunately, no other green recycle for us. So they're going to build wind turbines this round. I think we just take nuclear plant to keep winning black production. We're basically keeping all of these. We just next round we need research centers. Make sure both these are built so we win blue production. I think we do still go with financiers. Climate control's also sort of on the back burner. We need to get super sonar built ASAP. Anyway, only two generals now is good for this stage of the game. So they got a, they got a lot of points tied up in generals. Okay, both looking research and airborne lab looking very good. I think given how much black we both produce, go for the airborne lab. Interesting. Yeah, maybe that was dumb giving them juggernaut. Hey, Doc. Funk Doc, not to be confused with with other Doc. Take research. We need the green. I also don't love passing a military base or tank division. Also, we're getting this built. 
We're going to produce five. We need one more green, ideally. Not sure. They have yellow going on this for now. What I don't want them to do is build this and steal black in the last round. I also think teleportation is going to be a nice scoring card for us in the last round. We really just don't have enough yellow. Yeah, no no good targets for blue. Not enough good targets for blue. Produce enough for both those. We need to get magnetic train built ASAP. Uh, we could always build this last round. Uh, there's no point discarding it. going to produce six green in the last round at this stage and we need 11 at the moment but we should have a bit of crystallium we've got five crystallium sitting here potentially They beat us in blue again. When Magnetic's train, train is done, we produce five, which is enough for one and two. We can spend a crystallium on this. I mean, yellow's not a problem. Green's slight problem. As it stands, we have, we have enough to build all of this. It's just not enough against all of this. It's actually close because still only six generals. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Aircraft carrier gives them three generals. We need it to take away blue production if there's any chance of that happening. I also hate giving them another multiplier though. It's like lose lose either way. This only gives them two, I guess. They don't need the blue for anything. I think we just take away the point scorer then. I mean, it's it's uh, just a bad position to be in. One, two, three, four, five. Museum's ten points. Then they have one, two yellow cards. That's six points. Thing is this is free for us to, free for us to build and it's if we do get solar cannon, it's eight points, but museum is just so good for them. 
that we can't build museum. Oh, we also passed the museum anyway. Actually, they didn't take aircrafts. It's not actually enough to win if they take Saucer Squadron, but we have to deny the two generals anyway. Yeah, double museum. We're getting a yellow back here, just take away all the generals we can. They have no green cards. They're going to get enough Crystallium to build both these, no problem. Neither of us need the blue production. Just all about the general. It might actually be more sensible to take away the yellow. We might even be a chance of building Casino City. True, could build Underground City before production. Yeah, they do get Saucer. I think we just take away, oh, we, we just need green anyway. Uh, does it do enough? Okay, let's actually think about it. This is always getting built. I think we have to try to build this. There's no reason they wouldn't build Saucer Squadron. Don't see aquaculture being better than teleportation, which we should still be able to build. We produce five yellow. We need a lot. I think we just keep tank division. No, it doesn't hurt to keep any of these, but we can't build them all. Yeah, I don't see aircraft carrier coming down. Yeah, also should have just. Uh, we can still actually build Casino City beforehand, I think. Maybe no. Thinking Crystallium on Casino City makes sense. They're like literally one short. Really mess this up. I think Solar Cannon dies.
I don't think it matters. They have 20 points plus, yeah, they have enough. Oh. Really, really messed this end up. So bad. Doesn't matter if we get this build either way, it's plus eight. I don't know what is going on today. Losing out on Treasure of the Templars maybe was worth the risk. Climate control is basically useless for us. Like, but they just take the nuclear plant, plant that's the problem. I mean, it's a, it's a three point game if I get this built. Just needed to skip out on the tank division, I think, and we have enough. Or even, yeah, just build an underground city before. Like, we did a good job denying him generals, but... Maybe letting him get two source of squadrons was a mistake as well. Also, don't know, don't know about city. We left city, but we took... I don't remember what I took over City, but it must have been a mistake. Because City would have helped us with blue production as well. Just it was oh maybe it was, it was Lunar Base though. No, that was the right call. I think we'll keep going down the list. Seven Wonders Jewel is at least a coin flip. I'm, I'm assuming Arena is still base game. It seems like base forever. Alright, we are first player. Lovely. They get an extra refresh, but it's fine. We are first player. There's theology here, so it's not a huge deal anyway. I'll take Mausoleum over Statue of Zeus. We start with a yellow card too.
Don't mind the papyrus here, even though we revealed two things. Mm. I think we take stone. It's a little bit risky leaving both clays. Okay, we get rewarded with four money here. I say we were we had to discard soon. Yeah, Ark will be at the end of the stream. We had, we had another gold card now, so now we're chilling again. Just discard for five money each time. I actually build the military, which is a fairly big mistake. Now we don't even have to use our extra turn. As much as I do love taking the stone, just take the science. Take more science, get a third one. Gives us more chances at theology. And we do just need to make sure we don't die to military. So don't mind opening up with double military. Because our economy is really good. We have all the grey cards. We should win on points. We're not going to lose to science either. So as long as we don't lose to military, we're fine. Uh, don't even need this clay. Don't care if they get double wood. It can just make everything very expensive for them. Probably considering using an extra turn, but if they deny us the science, well, let's push in military. I mean, I think I'm okay giving him the grey resources for theology here. Get more. Agriculture looks good. More money, more points. We'll just start building point cards now, apply the point pressure. Using an extra turn, maybe for the military. Might reply back with an extra turn myself. They can start trying to catch in points. Shouldn't matter. Should probably have left it on my side one in hindsight. I mean, it should definitely have. We'll see what they do. 
Nah, we can just discard this and get first turn. Science is really good if we get mathematics, so it like opens up threats for us. I don't think I need to worry too much about free chains, like this economy is sorted. Mm, should really deny that. We can start building some extra. We'll take the point, see if they want to push in military. Alright, we'll push. Well, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's just about balancing all the win conditions. Like, if I can't lose to military, I'm definitely not going to lose to points. So I'll just keep juggling them. I'll use an extra turn just to take away the science. Science gives them seven points. Seems like enough of a reason to deny it. Yeah, the wonders can come out. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, we can just deny them the extra turn. Yeah. Just deny them the extra turn. I don't know if it if it's big anymore. I think this game is uh, well and truly decided. Just get double shields here as well. Uh, I mean, five points is just better. They for sure should have built that. I think they didn't understand it would have been for my science. Well, we got one win on the board at least today. Yeah, should really have been expected to win that. Consume it a little bit. I think we'll go for our Veil match. I guess at the same time we can also look for For Sale. It's in normal mode though. But I expect we'll find Val first.
guess I don't mind playing Obsession either. Q for that while we're in normal. Simple. Somehow this cursed game is still finding people faster. Alright, decently... Come on, dude. I, I have not tried loot. I saw it on the news. What game would you compare it to the most? <laughs> you know exactly what curse game I'm talking about, Bob. It's like Bunny King... Oh. Well, if you're going to sell it to me like that, I'll have to learn it for next week. Also saw that they released Cartographers on in Alpha, which I've played a couple of games of. Quite enjoyable. Can play that next week when Gladys is around. <laughs> there is spot for one lucky person. Somehow. I mean, what this is telling me is For Sale is five times more popular than both of these games, which I find very hard to believe. Also, the, these are cursed reputations. Does this not just look like multiple accounts? Oh, and this is a complete cursed round one. Oh, yeah, I did see the announcement for the Bunny Kingdom expansions as well. It is so cursed. Eight is a hell of a lot to spend, but the difference between 30 and 2 is big enough that I'm going to spend 8. And there's even potential that someone spends 9. But now if... Oh my god, please don't spend 10. I mean, if this is a pass and I'm spending 4 for 13, maybe it's not the worst. Oh no. <laughs> well, uh... You know, something tells me someone's going to leave this game before it ends. I just have that feeling. I don't even know, do you actually just bid 12 and 13 here? It's, it's unclear to me. <laughs> okay, big brain, do you spend 13 because this guy is 100% going to spend everything? I actually don't know. I think we just pass. I think it's... I think the good thing is if the person in front of us spends 12, then we basically get free stuff for the rest of the game. Even though we get a really bad... Got it. <laughs> you haven't got it yet. This dude might outbid you. But basically we're never getting the worst card again for the rest of the game. Like this one, there's no chance we get it. Everyone's kind of broke, huh?
don't think it's ever worth spending four here. Would have spent three and get 16 or something. What are you guys doing? Stop bidding so much. This game is about buying and selling these numbered cards. This is the buying phase, but everyone's spending Everyone's spending way too much. I actually don't know who's in front right now because coins are hidden as well. I assume red's in a great position because they got a 29 and half their money back. This cannot be the new meta. Okay, this is a pass. Everyone's so broke we can just bid three and get anything. Yeah, we just have to not pass first. Someone must be out of money here. Yeah, orange must be out of money. We just get the 23. I really can't sum up what this experience is like. I'm... This is not a good game. Okay, we get... We, we're not going to pay anything for this. We're going to get something cheap. Because green always has to pass. Pass, pass. I'll take a 19 for free. <laughs> actually out of money one pass free free four not necessary to bid that much this is a pass anyway Th okay the thing is we're in a decent position but so is a lot of other people at the table okay there's no way we lose this we have the most money but I really wish I was tracking how much everyone had, but I believe we have the most. I don't know whether to just go all six or just go four. Blue spent more than us in round one. It's so greedy. I think the other, the other benefit of bidding six is to make sure blue gets a worse card. I think we just go everything, but I wish I was tracking. I'm not convinced this is a victory. Especially if I get outbid here, but there's no way. It's a decent hand. This one we have to be kind of brave. Like 22 could get the 13 even. Basically, just don't be bottom two. It is a solid hand. Now, watch as we stuff it up. Now, we're starting out with a big win here, so, and we are, we are going to track, so three is gone. We're mainly looking out for zeros and twos. Yeah, nice. We got that perfectly. It's 
think this is where we have to dump out two. We get a nine for two. Also very possible we get 15 for 10, but I think it's just too good for the two though. Ooh, 21? Don't know about 21 there. I think let's use 28, guarantee a top three, probably get number one. Yep. I, I could definitely be tracking. Okay, that's this, that is a cursed round. This is everyone just dumps their lowest card. Someone dumps the 30 there. Twenty five was extremely greedy. Spend our highest, just don't get lowest, but we should not be lowest. Might even be top two here. Mm, maybe twenty nine gets spent here. Ew, ew, ew. It's not a first. It's not a first, it's not a last. <sighs> we get second in tiebreakers by one coin, so... The real moral of the story is track money better and just bid five in the last round. If money was uh, visible there, we win by one coin. I mean, given how that game started, this is the person that got the best deal out of the first round. I don't know that I want to be thumbing up any of these people, though. This was a very weird game. All right, let's see if we can find one of these two. Okay, Veil. Mm -mm, not sure I have the energy for Obsession. I love Water Giant. Very sad that it's gone. I feel like it's always the highest value on. I'm not a fan of Mimic. I know it's part of some combo, but I've never seen it work. Like just taking the, these are both kind of playable. I could definitely see myself just discarding for six though. Uh, if they play Water Giant first round, it's not the end of the world either. Mimic spam. What kind of combo does Mimic, Mimic go with? I think a six gem is too valuable. Ugh, not on two. This feels extremely dangerous to leave them, but also Valkyrie not bad. But Yeah, this gives us some uh, some gem income. Really can't leave that with their water giant. I 
Oh, okay, I'm actually... don't mind playing Phoenix here. Don't mind just taming both of these. Uh, I guess that doesn't really work. Maybe we just sell Phoenix and summon this for... We don't have a combo yet, but we have some gem generation. They tame the dragon egg. A little bit surprised. That's really what we need. I'm shocked that they're leaving. That's a huge, huge mistake for them. This is this is our combo card. Firefox is going to be okay. We can potentially recover it and spam this card. So All right, doesn't it's not doesn't synergize what they have. Uh, zero reason to play Capra at the moment. So we'll just end turn. Doesn't really work too well with what we have. This is all the green combo you're talking about. Just take away Burning Skull. Potentially even play it. I could see us playing it. Discard one of these. Honestly, I'm not that scared of giving him that combo, if it, if you can call it a combo. I don't mind spending a bit extra. If we get points for spending the three gems. Now we like sell this and uh, discard one with our burning skull. The main question is how are we getting to 60 points? Only one per family. Yeah, okay. Don't get any gems this round from that. Like this a lot. Like Tengu as well. 
we get one of them. If we get both, it would be amazing. Seems very unlikely. We have any good instant effects? I think we're just taking this to discard it. Maybe I should be keeping more cards in my hand for Firefox. Yeah, it was a pretty straightforward game, Michael. That was definitely a mistake, them taking the round, the military in age one. It sort of went back and forth a lot. Like, they were pushing military, then they were discarding it, then they were pushing again. I think we spend this three and just keep this one to discard it. What we really need need now is the uh, card that gives you instant points for the value of all your threes. I've won that way a few times. Oh, I did not finish the Seven Wonders Duel season very strongly at all last season. Very poor effort from me, like in the 400s, I think. Uh, there's no actual reason to do that yet while well, I still have a 6 here. I think we just end turn like this. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to spend this 6 on something before this guy comes out. I don't have a goal for Seven Wonders Jewel for the arena. I mean, probably just hit Elite again and that's it. That's exactly what I was talking about. That's very good. Think we're gonna be stuck with this guy. Well, it's actually not bad. Tame, tame, it actually works out nicely. So I think something like, <laughs> we actually do wanna use our six for this, it's very funny. Tame, get two water. Have to play it first, that makes sense.
We can just save this for next round. Weird that it's saying this is summonable. No, it's not. So we're going to be round seven. This gets us 20 points. Still missing a... We got a lot of gems to spend. Not bad. We can now summon this guy, which is another seven points. Probably also uh, nine points, actually. Probably also time to stop playing this, just taking up space. Eris looks very good. Have to take that away then. I think Imp just to discard for some points. Ah, uh, that was actually really stupid because we get 12 value gems every time we tame a water. That was dumb. It's very stupid. Doesn't have a lot of money. No benefit to keeping that. I think we actually do get rid of this. It's still a, an extra point for them. Not like they have enough money to care about space. Getting close, think we play this discard the imp, discard.
not going to be a very good Firefox. I mean, we can definitely end next round. We're going to be on 50, 53 at the end of discarding next round minimum. Just need to find something playable. We'll have two space. I think we have enough of a point lead that's pretty safe, just from their lack of economy. Alright, what have we got? That'll do it. Earn two for each card family in your area. <laughs> Actually, not a lot, is it? Actually, it's a really pathetic amount. I'll earn one for each card in your area. Might just be better. Yeah. I think the best we can do is Firefox spinning three. And this one's spending three. And that's it. Would be nice if it didn't do it all one by one though. Yeah, let's have no money to summon much. I don't know, it feels like the last three games I've won with a combination of one, two, three even. Yeah, I mean, the the rules are very straightforward for this game. It's just the cards that you have to learn. For the most part, colours go with colours. But there are some nice cross-colour -co combinations, like Basilisk works very well with some blue cards. GG. Alright, we'll finish up the day.
see if we can improve from rank 446. Hopefully not bookend losses. <laughs> uh, small animal and sponsored. Feel like we got decent things going on. Maybe going for Europe 4 is a well, maybe it's not that dumb of an idea, but we're starting one of the partner zoos. Expert in large has good value. So ideally we start Europe partner zoo, but we have backup plan of Australia. Thank you, STD. I'm seeing, a, I'm seeing three sponsors, okay. Yes, let me get Europe. That's so greedy. I hope you got stuck in a game that you lose, JD. Come on, sniping me today of all things. Look at look at the horror run I've had. If the buildings weren't so expensive, we could nearly get both of these out. It's like kind of close. I don't even want to take more cards right now. It would be like perfect parody if we finish with the win. They start Australia. There. Okay, it just tells me they don't have Kookaburra. So they don't need Australia. Seems like a good time for expert in large. We spend eight, we get we actually do have enough. We're going for that. We're Xing out cards here. We are going for Bison White Stalk Start. Does it make more sense to X out Association? Kind of signals that we want the long round. Seems like they want a very short round. Oh, okay, that's why. All right, looks like we're just playing Bison. Because they're about to break on us. It's giving us too much income to not play it now. As much as I want to delay. Just means we have to discard. Maybe we can discard the shoe bill, keep the water playground or something. Would be very interested in in aquarium. Ah, it's just so bad on this map. I think we just snap up eagle. 
fact, I know, I know, I know that's what I'm doing. It's a large animal. We're going to have an aviary anyway, most likely. Let's just build four, play white stalks, support Europe at four. Engineer, I'm not sure about at all. Definitely also take the adder for later. This guy only costs two, that's kind of ridiculous. I mean, this had better be a win. Oh, they took aquarium, that kind of seals it. We should just get the project out. They built one which suggests they have... I don't actually know what they are up to. Oh yeah, the stoat of course. They're just going to do Europe at 2, that's fine. We're definitely upgrading association here because we want this uni with a donation. I'm not sure. I think we take size two because it actually does a hell of a lot for us. We get to play Water Playground immediately and then we get to connect to the last kiosk before income happens. So this seems like a really straightforward move. And we have size twos for our next two animals. Well, we don't have to play the adder anytime soon, but. Must have been the right move because they did exactly what that. The upgrade sponsor. Makes me definitely want to break. Know in their hand is engineer, engineer and aquarium. They snapped up engineer, so this is not aquarium. Do we have our archaeologist? I kind of like spending an X, X token here because we can uni block them and make sure we get Australia partner zoo. I think that's high priority. I feel like build is. We don't really need build. We have size twos. We're already connected. Animals can be the right move. I 
me take this one just to annoy them. Yeah, forces them to take double science uni. Because I imagine they want to play archaeologist to go with their engineer. Mo no, mo no, Moose is actually insane here. What am I talking about? No room for the bear. Moose is playable because of Wombat. Don't dig that away. Oh, dig that away. Okay, that tells me they definitely have talented communicator. Uh, that actually does change what I want to do. I don't need to build. Let's just get times two on sponsors and cause the break. Also, don't think we want to pouch either of these because we can go for five reptiles. Well, now I'm confused why they boosted the SOS. Mm, so if I cause the break now, I get herbivore breeding from size 2 here. This times two, that means that the player has two end goals. Uh, it's a very weird place for it, but it's meant to be like you have three cards in hand and then two end goals right, right under it. And it's only relevant if players have elephants, really. Reptile breeding also looks very good. Uh, and first move, if they don't have a project, would we'll a snap up Explorer from them. Oh, they could just take Explorer, it's fine. Uh, we actually do kind of need to upgrade build here. I guess not a huge rush yet. Well, they're not going to take the partner zoo. Maybe this is just the right time to get second uni now. Second uni upgrade build and cards. No worries. I wasn't sure for a long time because it's a very weird spot for it. Not a bad idea either, get the one rep. I think we definitely donate because we have a ton of money. But I think now is just the right time to get the uni.
And if we get, if we cover both the rep plus two animals, we get second worker. Still no way for them to take this from us, right? That's a really good combo for them. Yeah, there's, there is the hourglass. Herbivore breeding into snappings also fine. I'll think about hip knowing as well. I actually kind of feel like petting zoo here. I think we're going petting zoo pavilion size one. Clever down cards. Can play Grass Snake Mangalica. If they snap it away, it's fine. Yeah, Reptile Breeding's better target. Now we can also play Squirrel Monkey now. I think I would have taken that away though. Yeah, see, Aquarium is so terrible on this map because you have no room for water anymore. Like, the flamingo is not even scary. We want to dig anything away? Probably not. Pretty happy with this hand. Why's the specials not playable for them yet? Oh, now we can just play Reptile Breeding straight from range. Guess we're taking America's monkey here plus eagle. Definitely take snapping. Just need to control the display. We'll draw randomly first, see what we get. While they're kind of tempting, should probably be considering it more. I think Dingo looks okay. Yeah, we have Science Institute's a dud card for us, so we just build Aviary next, do a cards action, cause break.
Wilds and Special would still be looking at uh, small. Just really have to play the eagle first, which is mainly the reason why I'm not doing it. Not playable for two reasons. Very playable. We can always... Uh, there's enough reason to take Dingo here. I guess it's for Australia. Snapping up. That's time to cause the break. That's a great snap for us. They are in hypno range, so one, two, sad about monkey, but probably three. We're, I mean, we already have our next four animals. Sponsor too good. Seven points plus helps us fill map. Eight points even. We got a lot of money. We could ooh, we could hypno their animals right now. No animal seems like it's going to hurt them. Yeah, I mean, Lynx is very nice as well, I know. They do take snapping, I imagine, for... I'm actually okay with that. Yeah, they don't want association higher at all. Let's just hypnosis now. Probably not going to play more than one sponsor. We do enough to play all of them. I'm just going to use Eagle here. straight into herbivore breeding that lets us draw Yosemite not taking pouching extra worker we can take after we probably just take I mean, we don't even need the X's just take the money I definitely didn't need X's though. I know it's looking a bit unplayable for us. This guess is very close to fill map.
it shouldn't rely on needing to play expert on Europe. I guess we're always playing it though. It might just be better to break a lot. And we have time to do a cards action. We want to take away the Rhino. We have a 30 point lead. And they have no worker yet. We have time. <laughs> uh, sure. I don't think money will be an issue. I mean, now I wish I just built a size 2 instead. Just cause break here. Guess getting a worker doesn't matter for them. Yeah, they can't do a project and they're out of money. They have a little bit, but then they have one card, so no need to panic and rush. Yeah, they want the break. We can just do release. Last worker plus just last worker and save X tokens. Two rep would nearly enough to uh, end game when filling map, just one point short. I don't know about that. Can't break. Can they actually fill map though? Oh no, wait, we, no, we can break because we had an X from animals. Yeah, exactly. Take pouching later. I want to keep these cards anyway. Uh, but we have to snap up something. Marabou's not better than Rabbit. I mean, last, last uni would definitely cross, but I don't really want to spend another two or three turns getting X tokens just to be able to cross during break. That's better than Rabbit. Oh, so Pouching 2 is enough to cross. I, I don't think it matters. The only extra turn they could have would be Sun Bear, and they don't have Asia Partners who.
they don't have a massive project either. Rabbit is six small animal. That's good counting. So it actually is better. There's no upside in drawing something. That's a good good one point catch. Yeah, just enough to pouch as well. Well, that was pretty solid. We had very nice draws. Probably the best expert in large game I've had in a long time. Saved us 16. Yeah, the only upside would be finding like reptile breeding for two extra points would be the only one, I think. Uh, it's possible the opponent discarded one. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid enough way to end the stream. McCall gets some very close to filling up maps, so it's a good thing we ended it. Round one was kind of long, so I'm not expecting it like a sub 30 turn game, I think. Oh, okay, it was just straight up 27. Yeah, ice cream parlors is always really quick. They weren't that badly rated either. I just just finished it really, uh, really quickly. Yeah, thanks for tuning in, everyone. No bookend losing this time, thankfully. Yeah, really rough start. <sighs> Need to go back and look at that first arc game. Decent recovery. Four Cell was a very weird game. Yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Have a good rest of the week and see you next time. Have a good rest of the day even.